Are you kidding me? Of course I eat soul food. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lisa Michelle, and I am back. 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 I don't know how many times I can say that, but I am back. I know, I know, I know I haven't posted. I know. I ain't got no excuses, though. I can't give y'all no excuses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just give y'all this content. But before I go into this video, because I'm, I'm back with a video, y'all. I'm here. There's not just no apology video. So, before... I get into this video. I need y'all to do me a few things. Like this video. Comment this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can get a notification every time I upload. Because I know y'all want to see my beautiful face pop up on y'all. That little notification. Hit so y'all can be like YouTube, Alyssa Michelle video. So y'all can go, you know, watch and listen, if y'all haven't watched my past videos, go look at some of those. I, I know they was all kind of the same because it was vlogmas last time I vlogged. That was two months, you guys. I know. But go check it out. You might still like it. But without further ado, I'm going to get right into this video. So I am going to be doing a black girl tag. Um, I have 11 questions written down, well, typed up. And put into my notebook. I got 11 questions. And I'm just going to answer these questions. If you, um, as a black girl, have any answers to these questions. If you want to answer the questions, you can gladly answer them. Put your little answers. I want to see. I want to see y'all answer. So, y'all going to answer. If, um, if, if it's some questions that can apply to a guy, gladly or, you know, just go on and comment. Even if it don't apply to you, just comment. Just be like, oh, yeah, girl, I know what you're talking about. But without, without further ado, let's get into this video. So now my, my number one question is going to be, what do you like the most about being black? What I like the most about being black is our creativity. I feel as if my race, um, the culture of us all together is amazing. We are very creative. Um, we're innovative. There are so many Black authors out there. There are so many Black songwriters out there. There are so many Black musicians um, all together. Um, you have so many black entrepreneurs. You got so many black store owners. Um, we're just creative. Even those who haven't put themselves out there, you have so many black people um, that are have so many ideas. They probably haven't stepped out on it. Like, you got so many people. If you go and look, like, I know if you go and look on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, for example, you go and look and look up black entrepreneurs or black businesses, you're going to see a lot of them pop up. We're just very creative. At least that's what I feel like I like the most about being black. So number two is going to be, when did you do the big chop? I did my big chop March the 28th of 2019 so that was um almost a year ago tomorrow is going to be a year um and yeah so i did the big chop march 28th and my uncle cut my hair and i hit the ground running and um it's kind of been in the same style since he cut it um when i first got it cut i used to get um designs but i'm gonna get that no more i just get it faded and i get it lined and i do what i need to do to my hair individually by myself so yeah mark has been a year it's march 28th 2019 will make a year which is tomorrow number three is going to be how do you feel about interracial couples i don't care like i'm not gonna say i don't care i don't have any like i don't have no 
hard feelings towards it. If you want to date somebody that's not in your race, so be it. That's you. That's what you like. Just like you have people who wouldn't date anybody out of their religion. You have people who won't date anybody out of their town. You have people that won't date anybody that got more than one sibling. You All of that. You got people that won't date somebody that don't have a father in their life or a mother in their life. You have all of that. So I don't I don't see it as a, any difference. Like, yeah, there's certain things that um, the other person may not understand about your culture, but that's why you get together and you teach each other because I'm pretty sure it's going to be something that you don't know about their culture that you, they're going to be able to teach you. Only thing is just one thing that I absolutely do not like about interracial couples and i'm not even going to say interracial couples as a whole i'm going to say the individual of an interracial couple for example say a black man or a woman is part of an interracial couple and so now they're no longer dating someone of their own race they're dating outside of their race but they decide to continue they decide to begin down talking their race don't do it just because you like what you like that don't mean you got to talk down on the people of your race. Sisters, black sisters, that just because you want to date outside of your race, don't talk down on our black brothers. Black brothers, just because you want to date somebody outside of your race, do not talk down on our black sisters. Like, don't. Like, just because you like what you like, that doesn't mean that we still can't offer you what you what you need. You just don't want to come from us. You want to come from them. And that's fine. So, like I said, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Date who you want to date. Just don't talk down on your own race. Number four, what song represents you as a black girl? Now, listen, I know I said song, but I have two songs. My number one song is going to be Video by India Irie. Um, I learned about this song a couple of years ago. My mama, she played it for me. Um, so it's been a minute. Um, it's been a minute since the song came out, but I just heard about it like probably like two, three years ago, maybe. Um, so yeah, and then my second song is going to be Brown Skin Girl by Beyonce. Now that song just kind of came out. So yeah, those two songs, probably my favorite two songs by um, black women. Two black women, Indy Irie and Beyonce. Number five is going to be, are you natural or relaxed? I am a proud member of the Natural Hair Committee. I have not had a perm since, well, now, some people say, okay, you colored your hair, so you're not considered natural anymore. But to me, I'm still natural because there's no other, I don't have any perm in my hair. Like, my hair is still curly, and I don't think it's, I, it's not straight. My hair is not straight, and so I feel like that's what classifies as, as relaxed hair. And so, no, I do not have relaxed hair. Um... I haven't had a perm since about December of 2018. Um, and that was when my mom got married. After that, I took my, um, I cut my hair in March of 2019, March 28th of 2019. And so it'll be a year tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll make a year of me being um, short hair, big chop. I cut it. I did not cut it. My uncle cut it. Um, and I just been loving it since then. Next question is, what is my hair type? So I believe that I'm like a, between a 4B and a 4C. Cause sometimes my hair, my curls are really, really defined like they're really tight curls sometimes and then sometimes my curls are like really loose um so i think i'm like a between a 4b and a 4c type of thing depending on the day um so yeah i think i'm a 4c 4b what 
when do you feel the blackest? That's question number seven. When do I feel my blackest? Around other black people. When I have that same vibe with me, um, I just feel the blackest. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm with my black folk. We doing this. We doing that. Like, I just feel that energy. Like, when everybody is reminiscing about our past, about what our ancestors, um, how the ancestors paved the way for us and how we've gone, come so far and where we're going, I just, that's when I feel my blackest when I'm around other people that is of the same culture as me that are black like me. Number eight is going to be, what are your four favorite black movies? You guys, do you know how hard this question is? I don't think y'all know how hard this question is. This question is hard, you guys. Number one, Friday. All of them. I'm not individualizing. All of the Fridays, all all the Fridays are my favorite. Number two. This one's going to be hard. This one is going to be hard. It was a hard decision. But I don't know if anybody's ever seen this movie, but do the right thing. Um, my mama showed me this movie like a couple of years back too. I think I was still in line. Like, I think I was in like a sophomore high school then. So that was in like 20. 15, 2016, something like that. So, Do the Right Thing is my number two favorite black movie. Number three favorite black movie, ATL. Fourth fact, favorite movie. I just said that all wrong. Fourth favorite black movie. Um, I would probably say, um, baby boy no no i take that back no 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 no. set it off that's gonna be my fourth favorite black movie set it off number nine have you always been comfortable with your natural hair absolutely not when i first got my hair cut um I was fine with it because, so what happened was I got my hair cut the day before we were about to have a youth explosion at my church. And so when I went to church and I had had my hair cut, everybody was like, oh my God, your hair looks so pretty. But then the days came on and I was like, oh, I really don't like this haircut. I wish I wouldn't have cut my hair. My uncle gave me a second decision to back out. I was like, no, you didn't cut it now. There's nothing we really, could really do. So no, I have not always been comfortable with my hair. Am I comfortable now? I'm not completely comfortable. I'm not 100% comfortable, but I'm learning to um, I'm learning to be a, uh, to be comfortable with. I really am. It's hard sometimes. I have moments where I'm like, mm, "Why did you cut your hair, Lisa? Why? Like, I'm starting to be like, Lisa, why you do that? Why did you cut your hair, girl? What was wrong with you?" But as my shirt says, "Free your hair." and the rest will follow. And so I have to free my hair that perm, you guys. And I know you're probably like, well, you could have just transitioned. I didn't feel like going through that. Um, so I just went and I sat in that chair and I let my uncle cut my hair. Number 10 is going to be, what do you like the most about being a black girl slash woman? Now, this is different from um, my question number one, what do I like the most about being black? That's as a black person in general. This is as a black female. What do I like the most about being black is this melanin, this beautiful melanin. Like when, like, I mean, it's the same with guys. When guys, when black guys hit the sun and that skin pop, I love it. But also, what I love about being a black woman is just, I feel like it's just strength in being a black woman. I really am. Because we've come a long way. It was where we can, we didn't use, we as women, 
weren't able to vote. Black women didn't used to be able to vote. Now we can vote. You got black women in the office. You got Lori Lightfoot in office. She's black. Like you got so many black people doing stuff. It was certain stuff that a black person, a black woman, because it was where a black male, black males can do it, where a black woman do certain things that a black woman could not do. And so it's now it's like fair game. Like you got black women sitting in those CEO seats. You got the black males too, but you got them black women sending them CEO seats where they expected somebody of a different nationality or a different race to be sitting. But now you got one of your own sending that black in that in that CEO seat. And we also give back as black women. Not saying that black men don't, but I love that about a black woman. She gives back to her community. Black men do too. Like you got Michelle Obama. You have Michelle Obama sitting as the president. I meant she was not the president. You have you had Michelle Obama sitting as the first lady of the United States for eight years straight. Eight years straight. You had Michelle Obama sitting there in the in the in the White House with two black daughters. Like number eleven. This is my final question, you guys. This is going to be my final question. Do you eat soul food? I'm going to just, I'm going to just let there be a little small moment of silence for this question. Are you kidding me? Of course I eat soul food. Yes. Give me some cornbread. Give me some greens. Give me, give me some baked macaroni and cheese. Not no stove top. Stove top is fine. But give me some baked macaroni and cheese with layers of cheese. When you pull it, you just see the cheese. I'm just being fat right now, y'all. But you see that cheese coming? Give me that. Give me some candy yams. Give me some, give me some candy yams. You know the best thing? When your candy yams and your sweet potatoes touch. Oh my Jesus. There's a party in your mouth. I'm telling you. It's an explosion in your mouth when them sweet potatoes and them and that baked macaroni and cheese touch. And then that juice from them greens hit that cornbread. Yes, with some chicken. And I know that's stereotypical, that chicken, but I gotta have my fried chicken. Give me some hot sauce. Number one thing, like come on. Like, I, I, I ain't got nothing against, I, I have nothing against any black person that does not eat soul food. But me personally, that's what I grew up on. I grew up on me some good old beans in a crock pot with some cornbread, hot water cornbread too. Yeah, that hot water cornbread. Put it in that skillet and it all of that all of that i grew up on all of that like my great grandma she used to slam you guys she used to she used to cook all of that for us we used to pick out i'm telling y'all like i i love me some soul food that is my number one like all these other foods they can fall in line but my number one is soul food number one i'm telling you like, that's what I like about black people too, though. I like, that's what I like about being black too. I have food. I have soul food. So I'm adding that on to the, the question number one, what I like about being black. That's soul food. Like, it's soul food. It's food for the soul. It hits your soul when you hit it, when you eat it. Like, it's like, mmm. Especially on a Sunday at the church, your mama then, your mama then put them greens on the night before. Or she put it on that morning. She let them seasonings in it. And it cooked down. Yes. I'm telling you. All of that. Oh. Yes. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I just ate. But I'm getting hungry thinking about it, y'all. But, yeah. So, you guys. Those were my 11 questions for the Black Girl Tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys, I promise, I promise, I promise that I'm gonna up so upload some more videos after this one. It's not, it's not gonna be like, oh, Alyssa posted a video, now she gone. 
I'm telling y'all, I'm going to upload some more videos. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Oh, and one more question. I need a name for you guys. Like, I didn't, like, what, what can I call y'all? What y'all want to be called? Like, I want to be like, what's up, blah, blah, or what's up, blah, 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 you know, like, so, so y'all could feel more special. But until then, I'm just going to have my regular old schmegler intro to my videos. Oh, that's what's into them too. Got a new intro, you guys. You're going to see that. You guys going to see that. Y'all going to see that intro. But anyways, it, like I said, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below the answers to um, some of these questions. Um, I'm going to have the questions somewhere on the screen. Don't know where it's going to be, but I'm going to have it somewhere. Um, yeah. Until next time, you guys, it's been a great, great pleasure to speak to you guys again. But until next time, with all the love and happiness that I could possibly offer you guys, I'm out. <laughs>